This is the brand new XGT 40 volt max brushless impact driver from Makita. Now this impact's got a ball bearing up front. As the mileage piles up, you'll get minimal wobble in the tip. When you put it side by side with the awesome 18 volt DTD 171, the new TT 001G has got 40 newton meters more peak torque. It's got 100 RPM extra. It's also got an extra 600 impacts per minute at max. As you can see here with it pulling away as the workload increases. And just as a sidebar, the extra torque was handy removing the bugles too. Where the 18 volt couldn't, the 40 volt could. But if you work for a living, you do far more than just drive a single bugle into timber. When driving bugles back to back, the 18 volt was getting slower with each screw and the exhaust coming out of the tool was getting really hot. After 12 bugles in a row, not only was the XGT impact substantially faster overall, but its external housing was 10 degrees cooler than the DTD 171. While the 18 volt tool gets the job done and gets the job done well, it is thermal throttling under extended use. While the XGT impact, like the whole XGT platform, it's built for industrial use. Now this impact has six application modes and four speed settings. First up is the wood mode, which starts out slow, but when it feels the screw has gotten some bite, it ramps up to full power, full speed, drives it home. Next up are the two T modes. The first T mode is for driving self tappers through thin metal sheet or stud and track. As it tightens, it just cuts power and stops you over tightening the screw. The second T mode is the same as the first, but for use with thicker metal sheet or plate. The other three assist modes are all bolt modes, each with varying max speed. When you're tightening in one of the bolt modes, it hits your max speed instantly, speeding up your operation. In reverse, it detects the second that your nut or bolt is loose and it cuts power, so you don't spin your nut off across the workshop. You can switch between two assist modes by saving one to the quick select button just above the trigger. To save an assist mode to that quick select button, press and hold the quick select button, as well as the speed mode when you're in the mode you want to save. And on top of those six assist modes, it's got four speed settings that you can cycle through at the press of the button. And if you're an old dog and you don't want any of that, just use the variable speed trigger. It's only 160 grams heavier than its 18 volt equivalent, but you're getting more of everything. That's the XGT 40 volt max brushless impact driver from Makita. If you want more info on this unit, head over to sydneytools.com.au right now. And while you're there, check out the whole XGT platform. If you've got any questions, hit me up in that comment section down below. And until next time, I'm Tim and you're watching Sydney Tools TV.